Welcome to another episode of the Cat Breeding for Beginners podcast. I'm Pamela and I breed British Shorthairs in Perth, Western Australia. I have a real passion for cat breeding and exhibiting and I want to share my knowledge and experience with you. I'm on a mission to help new cat breeders go from feeling intimidated, confused and having trouble getting started to confidently breeding happy and healthy cats whilst enjoying this amazing hobby. Before we get started, make sure you visit my website and download your copy of my helpful guide, Advice to New Breeders, where experienced breeders share some great tips they wish someone told them when they started breeding. You can find the link on my homepage at www.catbreedingforbeginners.com. Just look for the picture of Angelica with her kittens. I get asked a lot about what I should look for when I'm um, buying a new breeding cat and what kind of questions should I be asking and what do I need to find out from the breeder. But before you get to that point, this is what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself a question because this is really important. The question is, what do you want? Whilst you might have found breeding cats and they might be available and maybe you can, you can purchase them and adopt them, they may actually not be doing anything for you if they don't have what you want. What's your goal? What are you looking to breed? And an example of this, and I get asked this all the time, I've even been asked this in my new Cat Breeders Club by some of my newbies. Um, I want to breed this particular thing. Um, can, I, can I breed this particular thing from this cat and this cat? And the answer is often no. The thing that you need to breed that is missing. The trait that you need to have is missing. Um, And you need to go out there and get it. Um, An example of this is I've got long hair. This is a really random example and it probably has never come up. But you might have uh, long haired cats. Say you were breeding long haired orientals like you might be breeding uh, Balinese. And you've got Balinese cats. And you want to breed um, Balinese or long-haired Siamese. So you want to breed Siamese cats from your Balinese cats. But you can't because they all have long hair. There's nothing, there's no way to actually breed a Siamese from Balinese, from just two Balinese. You can breed Balinese from two Siamese if they carry the right genes, but you can't do it the other way around. You have to go out there and get the thing that you need in order to be able to breed the cat that you want to breed. And I hear this a lot in um, my own breed. There's a lot of people wanting to breed the latest um, colour, which is golden. And they want to breed golden, but they want to breed golden and they've got one golden cat and they've got the rest of their cats are all blue. And they want to know, will I get goldens from this mating? And the answer is no, you won't. You won't. It's not possible. You have to breed. um, It's a whole process to breed goldens, but you can't just stick a blue and a golden together and get golden kittens. It doesn't work that way. So knowing all of this information before you're actually getting ready to adopt this new um, kitten is really important. And I get that when you're getting your first kittens, you kind of need to take what you can get sometimes. And you might not actually know what you want to do. And it might come as a result of what you actually have and what you end up adopting. But once you do know what you want to do, that's where you have to make choices to make sure that the cats you're getting, especially when they're investment cats that are costing you a lot of money, um, maybe a lot of effort, then those cats you need to make sure that they're actually going to give you what you want to have so do you fully understand the color and pattern that you want if you want a particular color and pattern do you fully understand how you can actually make it because it's like saying I want to and I keep talking about recipes when I talk about this kind of thing I want to breed I want to make a chocolate cake I want to make a chocolate cake I'm going to go to the supermarket and I'm going to get the ingredients to make a chocolate cake And I'm going to go down to the cake aisle and I'm just going to start grabbing a couple of bags of this and a couple of packets of that. And then when I get home, I'm going to mix it all up together and see if I can make a chocolate cake. But the one thing that I'm missing is I don't have any chocolate. You know, if you don't have the ingredient, you can't make the recipe. You've got to know, and this is where you would read the recipe to find out what you need. You've got to do that little bit of education beforehand to find out what you need to do to get to where you want to go. And that's going to inform the decision that you then make when you adopt these new cats. So the question you want to ask yourself is, what is the purpose of this cat? Does it fit in with what I've got and what what I want it to give me? Do I fully understand its its colour, its pattern, um, and what I'm going to need to breed that form forward myself? And what I don't want you to be thinking is, I'm just getting this cat because it's cute, it's pretty, it's available or it's cheap. Now, there is a place for those cats 
there is 100% a place for those cats in your breeding. And I've talked, I've, I've got a video on that, um, you know, starter cats and the cheapie. Um, that's absolutely, those cats have a place, but not when you're making a big investment and you're trying to move forward. Um, if you're getting a cat because it's cute, and this is the example of the, the golden British shorthairs, they're really attractive and people do really like the look of them and they're like, I want them, I want to get one of them, I'm going to go spend a lot of money on buying one of them because it's cute and it's pretty and I like it, but with no consideration of the fact that can you replicate that in your breeding cats. And the example I gave you where if you took that cat and put it to a blue, you wouldn't get goldens, but you know what you also wouldn't get? You wouldn't get good blues you would actually probably go backwards on your blues because the golden is a newer colour and doesn't yet have that um, years and years of work that's gone into improving the type of the blues. So you're going to take a step backwards in trying to do that. And this is where it comes about, you know, you need to educate yourself on the thing that you want to get and the thing that you want to do and then make the choices accordingly. And the way that you can educate yourself on that is to ask other people, do your own research, um, but, you know, get out there and try and get that knowledge in any way you can um, because it's going to make it so much less stressful for you later. And also then you don't have to be always the person that's like, I don't know what this is. How do I get that? I get, I do hear this a lot. I don't hear it a lot from, you know, the people in my new cat breeders club because they are pretty good at going out there and finding out stuff for themselves or they do ask me for information and I provide it and we work out a solution together. But there's always people, when I go to a cat show, you know, there's always people that have asked me that question over and over and over and over and it does get a little bit repetitive and I do want to say you do need to, if you want to breed this particular cat, you need to go out there and learn as much as you can about it. You need to learn all of these things instead of every time you're making a decision about which cats to breed together, you're just asking someone else to tell you what to do because they're your cats, you're breeding them and it's your recipe to make your own very little kitten cakes. So that's my advice to you today. If you're buying a new breeding cat, you really need to ask yourself those questions. What do you need? What do you need? How do you, want, how do you produce the thing that you want to produce? And is that there in the cat that you're going to be buying? So I hope that was um, useful for you um, and yeah, go ahead and start making your own recipe and making your own little kitten cakes and I'd love to see pictures of them. You can share them with me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Cat Breeding for Beginners and you can find me on TikTok as well. Okay, bye. Thanks for listening. Make sure you visit www.catbreedingforbeginners.com where you can find articles, guides, courses and more. Plus, make sure you check out my amazing new cat breeders club. It's a supportive space where new cat breeders can learn, share and help each other. I only take new members a few times a year, so sign up to make sure you don't miss out.